for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new type of video for you guys today. So I'm going to be going over some mutt tips and a gameplay. I'm going to show you guys how to maximize your teams with uh, team chems. I'm going to show you guys my personal setup. I'm also going to show you guys how to maximize your offense and defense with abilities. All the stuff that I'm basically running right now. So, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at my squad real quick. I mean, I basically built this team around my two most dynamic and explosive players basically the fastest players so again, i built it around lamar jackson which just came out in the blitz promo i think he's one of the better quarterbacks he's right now i got his speed up to like close to like a 95 or something like that and i'm also doing it off of tyreek hill which is i think the fastest receiver in the game by far i got them both powered up i got the full versions there i'll go ahead and i'll show you the full stats on these guys you can get tyreek hill up to a 97 speed maybe even higher i'm not 100 sure but i got him up to a 96 i'm happy with that that's faster than just about any cornerback in the game now you look at lamar jackson and he's just as fast so we got two 96 speed players i'm gonna annoy people like crazy by basically bombing up over the top and running around with lamar i mean it's gonna be a very hard offense to stop so that's basically what i'm going for there is one positive side effect of this chemistry though for the baltimore chemistry is also get a serious boost for Deion sanders which wasn't necessarily uh the plan but he did play for baltimore for like five seconds so he's also at a 95 speed and he's you know obviously the best cornerback in the game right now so that's three players that i really I only focused on two on offense but three players that really got a major bump so I'm gonna show you guys how you can do this. I got 25 KC, 25 Ravens. Um, you can only get like 50, there's 55 total spots. I was actually getting errors at saying I had too many uh, players in the lineup or I was exceeding the max amount. Apparently you can get up to 55 players in your lineup and I was hitting that to get this 50-50. Uh, but you're gonna see, I mean, I still have, I haven't really lost a lot of players. I mean, I basically, uh, I lost one overall point percentage on my offense to do this. Overall, my team was a 93 and it dropped to a 92 and I was just on the offense. The defense is still a 93. So I really didn't lose much by way of going this route. That's why I think this is one of the best team chemistry setups to do. So on the offensive side, I had to go with a few inferior offensive linemen to make this happen. Guys like Eric Fisher as my starter, but I did put a uh, an edge protector cam on him. So hopefully he can hold down the, uh, the left side. Creed Humphrey, I got him powered all the way up. I expect him to keep getting, um, you know, cards throughout the year. I think he's a very good center. He works just fine. My, my other center before was a 92. So I didn't lose much there. I have a couple of guys that have nothing to do with the team camps at all guys like my left guard my right guard my right tackle all that but the rest of these positions are all basically uh loaded with uh either chiefs or ravens now mark andrews i had left over um i have him as a nap he's a 94 overall right now and he's actually really good i had darren waller before darren waller hasn't had an upgrade in a while so mark andrews actually fits the bill he's actually faster now he's got a 90 speed you could use darren waller in this spot by the way because he what he did play for the ravens so i have all i mean my offense is basically a two wide receiver offense and that's going to be randy moss and tyree kill I have Marcus Hollywood Brown though. He's a decent third option. If you look at his speed, I think it's like a 93, which is perfect. I mean, that's just perfect for a slot guy. So if he does get on the field for any stretch of place, he's going to be great. Priest Holmes at running back. He played for the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. So you really got your choice there. Uh, I have him as the Chiefs. And then Kyle Juszczyk also played for the Ravens uh, as my fullback. So, so as far as my offense goes, I mean, I basically built this around my offense. So I didn't have to make a lot of sacrifices. But on the defensive side, I had to make a lot of sacrifices. And this is probably where the most tips are going to come into play as far as how to get this without using up actually 50 spots. One of the most important things is Team Diamonds. You're going to have to get the Team Diamond for both the Chiefs or whatever team you're doing with this with, but the Chiefs and the Ravens for me, Derek Johnson was a Team Diamond and the other one is Haloti Nada. Now, these two guys, I didn't go the full card. You can get the full card, but ultimately, if you're just going to have them in the backup role like I do, all you have to do is get the power up, which is a lot cheaper, and then basically power it up one time and it'll open up the spot for the, for the Team Camp. So that's six right there so that so players like that really make the the major difference when it comes to filling out your roster and not sacrificing too many players because you can see i didn't have to give up guys like my starting free safety i didn't give them guys like my starting strong safety my linebackers are where it's at though and my linebackers are really going to be how i run my defense i'm going to run a lot of three four blitzes and guys like ed reed ray lewis and a, 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 i don't know how to share his name is that a, a defi oa i'm not even 100 sure i know he's a rising star he's a rookie i think he was our first round pick this last year he's really fast him and ed reed are both like 92 93 94 speed uh so i have a ton of speed coming off that edge for, for blitzes as far as guys like junior Seau go i mean he's just kind of there he's a free card this is another important tip along with the 
Team Diamond, you also got to make sure that for guys like this, guys like Cam Chancellor, your ultimate champion, and guys like Jack Youngblood, uh, your team captain, you're going to have to make sure that you have all them, uh, you know, basically set to either the Chiefs or the Ravens, which is what I have uh, as far as their setup. So guys like that, I mean, your team captain, Jack Youngblood, he doesn't really do a ton for me, but he's definitely um, valuable based on the fact that he gets multiple team cams. Uh, and then that's pretty much the roster. I mean, you guys can see I got the, my defensive line. I still got Montez Sweat out there. I didn't have to sacrifice him. Denzel Wars and that. So it's like I still have a lot of space for regular players. I don't have to go full any team to make this happen. It's also important, though, you're going to make sure that your special teams, your kicker, your punter, uh, things like that, these guys are going to have to be either uh, Chiefs or Ravens. Um, I had to spend a lot for Justin Tucker. I'm not going to lie. He was 300 k But it's worth it because he's got the best kick power in the game. So there are ways, too, to hide players. If you still have players that you want to get on your roster and you couldn't fit in, guys like my actual backup running back and on the my uh, offensive roster, it's like uh, J.K. Dobbins, who's like a 70-something overall. But my actual backup running back is Leonard Fournette. You can see it's closer to a 90. So if I need him, all I have to do is hide him in either the power back or the third down running back role, and I can basically use him at any time throughout the game. Same thing goes with my backup tight end, Kyle Pitts. I have um, really cheap gold players if I go back. Uh, I don't, obviously don't want these guys playing at all. Guys like Nick Boyle and Josh Oliver, if I have these guys in the game, they probably can't block or catch a ball. So if I go to my specialist, I can just hide them uh, there. I don't want to hide them, obviously, in the first. I don't want to hide them in this first one because a lot of times they'll be in the slot, and I don't want that. But ultimately, I like to hide You know, Kyle Pitts as my backup slot receiver, so I have him at my disposal if I want a faster receiving tight end at any point in time. Same thing goes with sub linebackers. Isaiah Simmons is my user a lot of times. I'm going to probably use him to replace Junior Seau, but I need the team camp from Seau, so he's here in my sub linebacker spots. Then I go to, um, you know, I, like I said, there's a lot of different things I can do. I can hide some cornerbacks here if I really want to. I probably want to do that real quick if I have any left over that are worth playing, but ultimately I really don't, so it really doesn't matter. And like I said, I think I was close to my limit anyway. So that's pretty much the basis for my team. As far as my strategy goes, I'm still rocking the Saints, I'm still rocking the Dolphins. Ebook links in the description below. The last tip is you also get uh, something for your team visuals. I don't think you get it for your uniforms, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong about that, because that is something I could probably do and then open up some roster spots. But I know that head coach and uh, home stadium do. So ultimately, you can get it through that. But like I said, I don't really think it counts for the uniforms. Let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong. But that's the that's the roster. Really good roster. I'm happy with everything I got here. I basically didn't have to sacrifice anything. If I could really maximize my roster the way that it was, the only thing I had to sacrifice was my 92 overall center, my 93 overall left tackle, and my slot receiver. That was it. That's the only real changes I had to make on the offense out of players that play. And I didn't really have to make any changes on the defense outside of my backup defensive tackle, which isn't going to play much anyway because I'm in a 3-4. Now, obviously, doing this costs a lot of coins. I had a lot already, but if you guys don't have coins, you can always check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com. I'll have a link in the description for you guys and a discount code that if you use it, you get 3% off their coins. So check them out if you don't have the coin to make something like this happen because it does cost a lot to focus on just one or two teams rather than a lot of times I usually go by like Nats and stuff like that. You still see I have a lot of Nats in my lineup. You have to maximize those, but ultimately, if you need coins to, to complete a theme team like this, make sure to check them out. Now, when it comes to my X factors and my abilities, I got Truz on Lamar. I got the most ability points on Lamar, and they're all based off of running. Truz, so I can't fumble as a result of a tackle. Uh, Gutsy Scrambler, so I'm immune to defensive pressure while I'm on the run, which I'll be on the run a lot. Escape Artist, which obviously you just get a speed boost when you want to escape the pocket. So nobody's really going to be sacking me with this guy's speed and the fact that he's going to be even faster when leaving the pocket. And then Quick Draw, which if I'm under pressure, I'll basically get the ball off uh, a lot better, a lot faster, which is you know the only thing I can do to quicken uh, Lamar's throwing abilities. Uh, then when it comes to uh, Tyreek Hill, he's already fast. He's going to get open because of that. But if I put Route Tech on him, nobody's going to be able to cover him at all. So he's going to be open every single time. Then when I go to my running back, who's probably the third most important person to this offense, maybe the most important because like I said I like to run more than anything else uh, I gave him a uh, first one free and evasive just to try to basically maximize he's, he's a very high agility he's a very high speed as well uh, I also gave Mark Andrews Vanguard to try to help on these uh, stretch runs that I like to run a lot so if I activate that I'll basically be able to um, you know seal the edge a lot better and block he's going to have like close to like a 90 run block on the edge uh, which is going to help out a lot with a lot of my run plays and I also gave him matchup nightmare so that he can get open against uh, you know pretty much any coverage as well uh, so those 
those are probably the most important guys. I have one left over. I also went with edge protector on my worst offensive lineman, Eric Fisher. On the defensive side, since I play a lot of cover too, I just went with acrobat and flat zone KO on both my outside cornerbacks. And then I also go with acrobat and deep zone KO for my safeties. If you guys want to see more mutt tip videos like this, as always, hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.